Hey everybody, Downers here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to wire a pedestrian signal. So this tutorial will be pretty easy if any one of you guys have a pedestrian signal in your collection. I'll be showing you guys how to wire up the light, as known as the, the insert we have in my hand. If or if it's a countdown or a count, not a countdown model, this will work for you. Now let's begin. For a pedestrian signal, you need a housing make sure you have a traffic controller if you don't have a traffic controller there are plenty of these on ebay and an insert so i'll be using this ge led with countdown so as you can see the only way you can wire this up is you every pedestrian signal whatever you have all have wiring just going to be very careful be careful if you wire this incorrectly this signal you will this might explode or may not work right because on the housing, it will show you instructions. Orange, blue, and white. Well, this one's a little bit different because I have red, brown, and white. So you have to follow and do the same steps as this um, thing. So now let's get this installed. Okay, the first thing you need to do is make sure you open up your housing door. Then if you see the wiring inside the control, and the wiring inside, make sure you always have a traffic controller with you. So you have to see these wires down there that's connected. That'll be white, brown, and red. So you have to match those colors. If you match them incorrectly, it may not work right. So first thing you have to do is get your white wire and unscrew the one of the screws. And connect the white wire inside of here. Then you have to screw it on. And once the white wire is screwed on, the next wire you need to do is get your um the brown wire or whatever it depends. Some inserts may have a red, blue, and white. Sometimes they can get end up different. There's plenty of GE inserts that have that. Take the brown wire, unscrew it, and connect it. All right, all right. So the last thing you need to do is connect this white wire. So unscrew that one and put the red wire in. And once it's in, you just screw it back on and you'll be complete. And there you go. And your pedestrian signal is all connected. Once the pedestrian signal is connected, the last thing you have to do is close the housing. What you need to do is pick up their insert. Make sure it's not upside down when you install it. And you have to be careful with this part. Let me just put the camera down. So carefully pick up the LED insert and put all the wires that's in there. And you have to put it where the door is facing. It depends what the door is doing or whatever. Once you get that click, you shutly close the housing. And there you go. Then you can just close up the housing. Just make sure you just check on the lit handful of screwy things. I forget what the official name is called. Oh, no, it can't go out with me. And screw them on. And do the same thing with the other side. And 
and there you go. Now your pedestrian signal is all set. All right, guys, so once your pedestrian signal is all connected, now we're ready to test the signal out. I actually am using a power cord, so you have to be careful with this part. Once it's plugged in, you will get some life. And there you go, guys. And that's how you connect your pedestrian signal. Hope this tutorial helps for you. If you did, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any trouble with your signal, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to help you as soon as possible. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.